Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Tank Davis looks like a fraud, and look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And according to Tim Bradley, he's come out and stated that Gervonta Tank Davis looks like a total fraud, and I could not agree more with Tim Bradley. Normally, Tim Bradley's a biased racial hater, but this time he's actually speaking facts, and it's on Gervonta Tank Davis. This is what he states. He says, look, this is the tank protection program. This has been going on for a long time, people. They've been bringing up guys from the lower weight classes to get in with Tank Davis. Tank Davis looks spectacular. It's a cover-up. I'm going to tell you right now. I think Tank is a good fighter. I don't know how great he is, but from the looks of it and the matches he's been having, the dude looks like a total fraud. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Tank Davis is a total fraud. Uh, the guy is the king of cherry picking. The face of cherry picking could never be the face of boxing. It never makes sense when people compare him to Canelo. Canelo's a four-weight world champion. Tank's not. Canelo's fought multiple elite fighters. It is Landy Lotta in his prime. Floyd Mayweather. Triple G. Uh, you know, he moved up to fight Sergey Kovalev in a weight class. He was drastically undersized. He fought Dmitry Baval, unified 168 within a year. Fought three prime undefeated world champions. When has Tank ever done any of this? He's never done any of that and never fought with one elite fighter in one 50-50 fight. So don't ever compare him to Canelo. He's not on his level. And this is what I mean. Most people are stupid and casuals. Think about this. Tank Davis. He knocked out Leo Santa Cruz brutally. Everybody is celebrated and applauded, but he pulled Leo Santa Cruz up in weight, but yet gets no criticism. Tank Davis beat up Hector Luis Garcia, but he pulled him up in weight, gets no criticism. And then you see his next fight in Houston is going to be against Lamont Roach, which he's once again pulling him up in weight. But nobody's criticizing Tank. They're all kissing his ass, calling him a killer. This makes no sense. And then you get people saying, well, he wanted to fight Loma this year. Don't forget that. Loma stated before Tank ever reached out to him about an offer that he was considering retirement and his career is basically done. But that's when Tank decides to send an offer. Literally, Loma's been chasing this fight since 2016. This man has been ducking Lomachenko 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Even Tank Davis stated that he's never asked for this fight. What the hell are we talking about? This man has ducked Loma for years. And now all of a sudden, when he's ready to retire, you find your nuts to want to fight? This guy is a fraud. Let's be honest. And then you say, well, he beat Ryan Garcia. He beat Ryan Garcia. The only risk he ever took, it's not even a risk because you fought him with a catch weight and a rehydration clause. See, it's the thing about Tank. It's not that he's not talented. It's that Tank Davis is an absolute coochie.